I V M. Hey everybody, quick request once again, if you could help us out by filling out our survey, it's at ivmpodcast.com slash survey. This really helps us talk to advertisers about the kinds of people listening to these shows. Really do appreciate your help and we're going to be doing a random drawing and we'll be sending out some IVM swag. Hope you enjoy that. Hello one, hello all, welcome to the Diary of the Traveling Professor. And I'm Siddharth Deshmukh, your friendly neighborhood traveling professor himself. Talking from London, wherein we have now set upon the new year. So we are all set into our strides. And uh, by the way, in London, it is kind of minus one or even maybe the maximum temperature is three or four degrees. So really chilly times here, very chilly, but at least the days are getting mildly longer. So instead of uh, a gloomy 3.30, we are now having a gloomy 4.30. Ah, well, you can't complain as the Brits say. A little better is always better than no better. On that note, England seems to be having a really bad misfortune. The misfortune is about a second lockdown wherein people are really, really struggling to get out of their homes. And, you know, it is a bit of a crackdown from the government, obviously for all the right reasons. Misfortune reminds me of the diary entry that I wanted to speak about today. And that is about fortune oil. And fortune's misfortune, as I call this diary entry. Unfortunately for fortune, right? Saurav Ganguly, their brand ambassador, suffered a mild cardiac arrest and was, you know, hospitalized. Thankfully, uh, you know, he kind of got out of it and is uh, very well looked after by his doctors and, and the rest of it. I'm a big fan of Ganguly, of course. So like who else to show me a, fa- a person who's not a fan of Ganguly's after he specifically won us uh, so many different things, right? And and him taking off that shirt on the balcony of Lords was like an iconic moment for everybody. But I digress. Ganguly, the brand ambassador, made a big, big headline for the wrong reasons when he suffered from a cardiac arrest because obviously, obviously, internet trolls started building it up and saying, hey, the Adani-led fortune oil company is just bullshit because their own brand ambassador gets a heart attack and here you are saying that it's a healthy cooking oil. What say you fortune oil? Now, obviously, social media, specifically LinkedIn and so many other places like Twitter started, you know, debating on what should the course of action be for, uh, you know, a company like fortune. Or let's just generalize the question more from a professorial perspective, shall we? And let's say that, okay, your brand ambassador suddenly gets something which goes against your brand. Maybe it's about fitness and your brand ambassador has a fall. And it kind of had happened to Yuvraj Singh. And uh, I think he was uh, looking at Revital or something. And then he started suffering from a very unfortunate cancer. And I think that was a big blow to that brand association for Yuvraj and for Revital. So it is a serious issue. It's a serious piece of concern. Right now, the Adani group has taken down all the ads and have made a generic statement how, you know, it is a healthy cooking oil and uh, these things happen to anybody, etc., etc., etc. So that is their official response from their PR team. Uh, And uh, okay, Uh, there can be another response saying that, look, you know, get Ganguly to actually say that, you know, I'm fit and uh, don't worry about me. And uh, actually, fortune oil is still good and sort of get on the defensive. So there's one way of doing it, which is get on the defensive. The second way of doing it is perhaps doing, you know, like, look, you know, uh, it's a sad incident to happen, but the oil is the oil and we will get back with Ganguly. You know, that's what Uh, The Adani group has said, is there any other way in which you can deal with a calamity like this, which can be quite dangerous for your brand's perception in the marketplace, especially if your brand ambassador does, you know, get into some kind of misfortune himself or herself? Well, here is the deal, right? The deal is that we have to understand this concept that is happening on the internet. People are on the lookout to pulling down celebrities a bit while, you know, increasing their own two seconds of fame on the Twitter as we speak. So that is certainly one phenomenon. And I also feel that there is a a certain lack of understanding of how, um, you know, uh, cooking oil in this specific case and Ganguly's uh, sports fitness 
thing in, in that specific case actually are conflated and have nothing to do with each other. But if the Adani group was uh, going to say that, well, we don't really believe in this has been contributed to Ganguly's heart attack, nobody's going to believe them. Why? Because the internet conflates issues and makes a big deal out of a molehill, a mountain out of a molehill, right? So what could a PR department do differently? How about actually not trying to build the brand at all at that point in time? Yeah, that's my suggestion. How about actually saying, hey, you know what? We are very concerned about Saurav. This goes beyond ads. This goes beyond you know, the way in which we uh, use uh, Saurav as a brand ambassador. What we want Saurav to do is get better soon. And by the way, this is the way in which heart attacks can happen. So here's a way in which you can, you know, be prepared. And it's not only about the oil, but you need to do a lot of other things. So actually, kind of speak beyond the brand. Kind of take the position that, hey, you know what? We stand by Saurav no matter what happens to, uh, you know, uh, its impact on our brand. And the second thing is kind of accept that, you know, just by having the oil uh, to cook your food is not enough for you to be saved from heart troubles, but there are a host of other factors. I think what will happen in such a case is that you as a company will be perceived and as a brand will be perceived to be more genuine and more helpful and uh, responsive uh, without being defensive. Responsive with, without being defensive is, is the key over here. And for that, we need to get out of our egos. But I know how, you know, uh, organizational structures and egos function. So it is likely that any other brand manager facing a dilemma like this is not going to take my suggestion as the first go because there is so much of internal selling to be done, right? The internal selling is essentially like, okay, guys, you know, we need to now stop being defensive about our brand. But to be honest, the brands which actually do this, which go beyond the brand and actually talk about health in a new light in this case or anything else in a new light in this case, if the brand ambassador has, um, you know, had, had a bit of a problem, then that is actually the way to go. And it will result in a turning of fortunes, to be honest. I also think that it is very important for us to understand this a little deeper. If the brand ambassador has brought it upon himself or herself, like gone out, let's say in the pandemic, when there is a lockdown without a mask and then gotten the COVID and actually he is, uh, uh, you know, an ambassador for some pharmaceutical company, well, then the pharmaceutical company has a different battle. But over here, you know, Ganguly suffered from a heart attack, which was essentially because of probably a genetic condition. In this case, there is just a very vague connection and something that is not Ganguly's fault and not Fortune's fault either. And I think that the brands should be brave enough to actually state that and take on the position of starting a movement that goes beyond oil, perhaps for health. How does that sound? Well, I hope you like this diary entry of mine. Many more to come from from where this comes from. I'm also trying to change the format up a little, but a little more to come from this space. By the way, the Traveling Professor Investigates is up on Instagram and on LinkedIn. I do this every uh, Saturday while uh, the podcast, this podcast comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. And just take a look at that. It's a different, uh, you know, set of interactions I intend to have with the video and a different set of interactions with the podcast itself. And if you like podcasts like these, do go to the IBM Podcasts app or just uh, .com. You know, just listen to wonderful, wonderful stuff out there. And uh, do follow The Traveling Professor on Instagram, LinkedIn, or, you know, wherever you might find me on social. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that show. If you aren't following us on social media, please do. We're IBM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So everybody, please do help us out with our survey if you haven't filled it out yet. It's on ivmpodcast.com slash survey. This survey is really helpful for us. And, you know, fill out the survey completely and uh, we'll put you into a lucky draw and we will send you some IVM swag. And what a great week of episodes we had and what an eventful week we had. Let me run through some of the episode highlights really quickly. On Tessa Vesa, Samir Nair of Applause Entertainment was on to discuss the web series Scam 1992. Great conversation with Anupam was had. Do check that out. Bhavish Sumaya of Hasbro was on Advertising is Dead. On Positively Unlimited, Chitna is starting a new series from A to Z. This week, Align. Do check that out. 
And on Gibby CD, Farhad and Sunetra asked the question, what if they were straight? Interesting conversation. Definitely do check that out. I think you'll enjoy that. And one piece of news for you guys. Cyrus Says is now live on YouTube every weekday at 10 a.m. If you go to our IVM podcast YouTube channel, you'll be able to catch us over there. And stay tuned for a lot more video content coming out in the next couple of weeks. And with that, I hope to see you again next week. Hi, I am Sadaf. And I'm Arshit. Khani ka itihas, economics, policy, psychology, sab hai menu pe. Only on the Nankali podcast. Every Wednesday, sif IVM podcast app ya website par. Ya fir jahaan se bhi aap apne podcast sunte ho.